Hey everyone, Travis with Diesel Laptops here. Today we're going to be looking at a TA300 using the Kajali Gel Test off highway software. So we're going to go ahead and get ourselves connected here. We're just going to search our brand or manufacturer, find our TA series up here, and then choose TA300. And then on the right you're going to get a list of different options that are associated with it. In this case, this is a Scania engine, so we're going to go up, choose our connector, and we're actually going to do this with multi-pin. So we're going to click that multi-pin option. We can see here pin 3 and 4 for A and C. Pin that out. Hit connect. All right. Once we've done so, we're going to be brought to our main menu. So you can read fault codes. We do have an inactive in there. You can clear from this screen, but we're just going to go ahead and hit the X out. Look at our ECU data, so this tells us exactly what we are connected with here. And then operation data. So we can go back and look at things like, we'll use coolant temperature for an example, what ranges it was in, for what amount of hours, and what percentage of time that is there. And of course, down at the bottom, total operation hours. Under our actuate components tab, there's going to be some tests in here. So you see injector, VGT, um, your EGR bypass valve, air conditioning compressor, several tests in here. Then system tests or system checks will actually be the rest of your tests. So you can see different things in here for the DPF, cylinder cutouts, compression tests, followed by parameters. So these are things you can get in here and change. So injector codes you can display or modify. Same with speed limits, idle speeds, um, all the way down here to the bottom. You've got some. Uh, limitations there you can set as well. Under the maintenance tab, this is going to be where you come in here and run a regen, or of course you see the option there for your EGR. System code override, look at our back button again, and we'll look at some live data real quick in this monitoring tab. So you've got two options here, live data selection or system display. We're going to go through the live data selection first. And you can see some of this now. We have just cranked it up and it's a little cold out here, so. But just page after page of live data. Now we're not going to go through all of these, so we'll just hit our check mark here, which will actually bring us back out to our main page, back again, and then back one more time. Lastly, under the calibrations, so your VGT calibrations. Um, differential pressure sensor, just some different adjustments in here that could be made or calibrations done. If we hit our back button, once we've finished here, okay, and we're actually going to go ahead and disconnect and we'll look at the after treatment system here. All right? Choose our connector again. We're still pinned out the same way we were before when we were connected to the engine. And you'll see a menu that looks very similar to the other one. So we've got feed and clear your fault codes. This one has no code stored in there. Um, your system data lets you know exactly what it is you're connected to there. Monitoring tab. Again, we can look at this live data. Accept. Select all. And you can add triggers in there if you want it to alert you when it gets above a certain range or below a certain range. We've got a few pages here of this. All right. We'll hit our check mark here and look at system display real quick. We didn't go over this on the other one, so it's basically the same data you were looking at before. It just kind of puts it in a picture view there for you to see. Sometimes kind of helpful if you're trying to understand the system and how it works. Hit our check mark here, back out one more time. And then the actuate and system checks, these are going to be any of our tests associated here. So you see your different heaters, the pump, the metering tests. And then under system checks, again, metering and defrost. And that pretty much covers the, the depth side of things. We also want to look at the transmission. So this is a ZF transmission. Get ourselves connected. And again, menu is going to be set up the same way, but we can read the fault codes. You see you've got some inactives here. 
you can clear from this menu as well if you want to um, or clear from here on the main screen under our ECU data that will tell you exactly what it is we're connected to so you can't see there 6WG back out go to monitoring live data again all right and you can look at the different solenoid valves there for clutch back up and they do a system display as well now this one you want to read closely make sure you're choosing the right one there that uh, corresponds to your model but your live data associated with it here all right once we finish that we back up and look at some of our tests so you've got your different clutch tests there and then your forward and reverse followed by your system checks you can do some gear selector tests and then lastly your transmission calibration Overall, the JAWS Test Off Highway software does a really well job covering this machine. Alright, thanks for watching.